Western Wisconsin field agronomist Joe Eilts here today and uh, we're going to talk about alfalfa seed coat considerations. Before we get there however, I want to bring to your attention our folks down at Pioneer Central did a great job rebranding the Pioneer Agronomy brand. It's got this beautiful nice spring green color to it so I just want to say pay attention to this new agronomy brand. Straightforward and simple. Get straight to the point. This is what the new Pioneer Agronomy is going to look like. And it's a little chilly in this warehouse today so I'm going to put this cap on. Okay let's talk alfalfa seed coat. Here we got a bag of Pioneer alfalfa, as well as some alfalfa seeds. If there's one thing we know about alfalfa seed, it's awfully small. That presents some challenges when planting this seed. And so in order to overcome some of the challenges associated with small seed, many companies have taken to put on a clay seed coat matrix to that. So what advantage does that offer? Well, when you put a seed coat on top of small alfalfa seed, it gives it more surface area to then put on things like fungicide and inoculant, which are absolutely essential in getting a good alfalfa stand established. In the industry, the seed coat can range anywhere from 0% coat all the way up to 34% coat. And Pioneer has chosen to land at 9% alfalfa seed coat. So if you remember the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, there were three different porridges she had to choose from. A very cold version, a version that was too hot, and a porridge that was just right. Well, Pioneer believes the 9% seed coat is the nice warm uh, porridge that Goldilocks ended up choosing. The reason being is that it is the perfect compromise of having just enough seed coat on there to hold the inoculant, to give it flowability, to hold the fungicide, without then causing the problems that can be associated with a larger, bulkier seed. Not to mention that at 9% seed coat, you've got more seed per bag than some of the other brands out there that have higher percentages. And so uh, just make sure if there's nothing you take away from this video today, it's to point out the fact that every bag tag on it, regardless of what type of alfalfa seed brand that you're buying, will always list what your seed coat percentage is. You can see here on this tag, coating material is at 9%. The percent of coating on your alfalfa seed is ultimately going to determine your seeding rate. So please take that into consideration when determining how much alfalfa seed to get out on top of your acres. So talking about alfalfa seed coat today, thank you much for watching. We'll see you next time. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.